Linda was surprised when I showed her this. I've been coming here a year, she said. I should buy you. I said, you do that. I'll tell the authorities you lose your license. I think she thought it was funny. It came out with a bit more edge than I meant. That's been happening a bit lately. Anyhow, first legal. <laughs> I wanted it to be here. They gave it to us on the house in the end, just because of, um, well, just cause. It's nice this time of day. The day drinkers. The odd older couple having a nice lunch. There's a pair over there, I swear, are married. At least not to each other. To be fair, this is the type of place you take someone you're shagging. Quiet. Not that I don't like it busy. I love a crowd. I mean, that's the definition of an extrovert. You know? It's not whether you talk a lot, although I do. It's where you get your energy from. And I'm definitely the kind of person that gets a buzz off of being around other people. You need your own space, though. Gotta like your own company. That's one of yours. I'm trying to. I love this light. Things are prettiest just before it goes. There's a sort of, um, not a clarity. That's more in the morning, sort of a welcome haziness. What are you going to do with your freedom, Carly? Well, thank you for asking. I am going to go into railing, get a job in a bar, and have cartloads of exotic sex. That's the plan. Now's not the time for original thinking. I got plenty of time for that. Right now, I just want to tick off a few boxes. Maybe even have myself a threesome. Though, to be honest, my heart wouldn't really be in it. Don't be shocked. I'm not shocked. I suppose nothing shocks you anymore. I have decided that I would be a very good speaker of Italian. I am basing that on nothing more than a feeling. Countries have been invaded on less. I see no reason to question it. I think I would be an excellent and reliable member of staff albeit one who likes a bit of banter with the customers, and the manager would hand-pick me to run things whilst they set up a larger establishment down the coast. Be one of those people you see who's like, yeah! Yeah, I lived abroad for a year. I ran a bar, all casual and tan with an ethnic -y necklace. Look at me all dripping with experience. Or I could settle down meet an Italian and have nine babies. <laughs> no. I'll go to uni seeing as I got the place. First in the family. That's what you said. First in the family, like some sort of weird lefty parrot. It was nice though. Do you remember that time I came home and I said the books were for poshos and you tore an absolute strip off me? Don't ever hide yourself. That's what you said. Don't ever let anyone tell you that something is not for you, that student is a dirty word, that learning is to be ashamed of. People fought for that. Be proud. People like that, they think the world ends at their own horizons. They are not worth bothering with. You were quite full of yourself. First in the family. That was the last time I saw you. Well, no, the last time was, um, you know. 
it's a weird situation. Because you're not sure what to do with yourself. And the lady was like, take as long as you want, love. Which is nice. But at the same time, you're like, well, how long am I meant to take? Some sort of benchmark would be nice because I don't want to be too quick. Plus, it's actually quite difficult to know what you're supposed to do. I did consider taking a selfie, mainly because I thought you'd appreciate it, but I decided it would be too much. And you'd probably be the only one who would appreciate it. Yeah. No one gets me like you do, that's the infuriating thing. I said that and you said, well, that's what uni's for. You've got to go out to meet like-minded people. You're not going to meet them round here. And I said, you my mum round here. And you said, yeah, well, I was different. <laughs> Even though I'm not sure how it was. I think what you meant was that the pair of you should have met other people. Not that my childhood wasn't happy. It's just in hindsight. Like when I was 13, and I asked why you and mum were getting a divorce. And to be fair, you told me, and I called you a bastard, which you totally deserved. Even though now I can. I think that was the first time I understood that some things can't be mended. <laughs> In the end, what I did was, um, and I know you were there, but at the same time, were you there really? I told you I loved you, and I kissed you on the cheek. <laughs> and I sort of didn't want to do it. But at the same time, I didn't want to have not done it, and then regret it, so in the end I just did it, and I was so nervous that I couldn't concentrate on anything. And that was so annoying, because that was a point to remember. And I was so scared that the skin would be hard. But it was. It was soft and cold, like a joint of meat out of the fridge. And I know this. But you don't want me to tell you how it was. Anyway, long story short, I am glad I did it. It's not even how I want to remember you though, so I want to remember you like this, here, at our table, enjoying me having a naughty pint and putting the world to rights. So here's to you. And that bright, shining future you promised me. Be who you want. Go where you want. Do what your heart tells you. It's all ahead of you.